What's up guys, it's Drek, and I plan on doing a review for both of the Rival accessories today, but let's start with this one, because this one is supposedly uh, the, the more interesting of the two. So this is the Nerf Rival Flashlight Grip. Now, this is a killer concept because HVZ players have been doing it forever. Uh, integrating your torch into your hand grip is an excellent, excellent idea. Save space and combining them into one accessory that costs reasonably uh, somewhere under 20 United States dollars is an awesome idea. It's official from Hasbro. It should fit uh, and it's designed for rival blasters. Now they're saying that you can put it on the Zeus and the Chaos. Those are of course the two primaries that you would put it on. I can't remember if the Artemis uh, I guess the Artemis already has a foregrip. I'm trying to think of others. The Atlas has a pump grip, and the uh, Apollo definitely doesn't need it. So realistically, what is this for? Well, we have the Nemesis coming out, which, as we all know, doesn't have a tactical rail on the, the bottom. So this isn't for the Nemesis, which is a real shame because it's by far the most bulky of the rival blasters to exist, and therefore the most in need of a tactical grip like this. And then uh, the Zeus also has kind of a, an angle swoop in its foregrip, but nowhere to attach rival rails. So we're talking about, realistically, this is an accessory for the Chaos and the Chaos alone. Now, you're welcome to disagree, but I think that that's what it's for. Now, when the Chaos first came out, I don't know if you guys remember, but my very good friend Pete Buzzy Pete whipped this up. This is a one-of-a-kind Drac angled foregrip, and I'm going to be honest, this is going to have to be a blow-your-socks-off awesome uh, grip for me to care about it uh, enough to leave off my my peat fuzzy peat foregrip because this is the bee's knees this is an awesome awesome foregrip so I never thought I'd do this but let's go ahead and take this off I have to tease this out might not be that easy super sturdy work Brendan oh my goodness getting this off is difficult okay so this was a two prong that locked onto the Picatinny and with that removed we can tease it off of the rival rail so this will slide off and that is my foregrip it's extremely comfortable because of the way that it fits my hand like that and then of course his signature is on the front but this is a review of the rival flashlight grip so let's get right into that so on the back it just says that it's die cast which means that it should be made of metal uh, we have an interesting mechanism here and then the grip is detachable and then the LED light has been in enhanced to uh, show the lighting effect so sliding it out actually looks pretty nice this is a a really cool sort of way to attach to a rail with the uh, the locking mechanism like this you see these a ton on I guess like most people see these for the first time I guess on bicycles but uh or bicycle seats which are adjustable and I am uh, more familiar with them from real steel firearms but that is neither here nor there let's go ahead and snap it on this piece kind of attaches onto the torch itself. And then once it's on, it is good to go. This obviously is going to lock into place like so, and that'll cinch this onto the rail itself. Now, uh, down here we have our threadable grip, but before we handle that, let's take a look at how to get batteries into this guy, because it does announce that it will be requiring three AAA batteries, and I assume that that is uh, four the the lighting effect so looks like you need a number one screwdriver that actually seats into the the hole here it's a recessed screw port which is different than a lot of the uh the accessories have been in the past and then you unthread that so we have three rechargeable duracell batteries we're going to slide in there and then this kind of levers back into place uh the button moves out as it closes and then you want to cinch it down with your screwdriver a uh, very well machined part overall looks pretty good is it a decent torch well ow bright um it's bright if you look at it but it looks like at least during these kind of daylight conditions it's not going to be super noticeable we will test it in a low light so setting. as far as actual flashlight performance goes the torch isn't bad you can see on Nominai's newly made paint rack here that that we're getting okay light in here from it it's definitely better than anything Hasbro has made in the past which kind of leads me into and this is I think injection molded plastic sure enough and this is our rival grip so it looks like it goes in and it's got all of these different parts inside so that you can probably twist it into place after it's installed so it goes all the way in three levels like that click 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 and then twist and it's locked into place so that's not going anywhere unless you do in fact twist it back and remove it so 
Let's go ahead and attach it to the only blaster that I think it makes sense for it to be on, and that is the Chaos itself. Multiple places that you can put it on, and now it's on. So picking it up by this, not a good idea. Even my modified Chaos, which weighs less, is still uh, reasonably heavy, and you can see that while it is relatively stable, it's not designed to, or even getting torquing as you should be able to see it. If I hold it by the foregrip and put any real weight on it, it actually flexes. So that's level, that's bending. Again, level with no real pressure on it. Yikes. So, I mean, part of that's just that these plastic rails are not designed to have massive amounts of force on them, but I would think that the, the weight of the blaster is something surmountable for the foregrip. Now, it is a convenient foregrip in that the button is right here, so you can go from holding it like this, and it's a vertical foregrip. There are no other options at this time, so vertical foregrip, click, on, good, click, off, depending upon how your missions work. A lot of missions for HVZ in particular incorporate uh, flashlights for like freezing witches or what have you, and then we can fire. I mean... Definitely a stable foregrip, but for me personally, with long arms, I don't like this as much as I like getting up on it. So maybe if I remove this, is it just a decent flashlight accessory? I'm sure it is then, in that case. Does this come off easy? No, it does not. So that's got to come off, and then you almost have to wiggle this out. But uh, the, the rival flashlight grip is is decent, I guess. It's better than buying airsoft gear and trying to like adapt it, but it's no comparison for like actual tactical gear, which again, you would have to adapt to a rival blaster. This is pretty tight once it's in there, admittedly. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it out on camera, but let's uh, test this out in a low light scenario. But overall, the, the comfort is okay. It definitely flexes and creaks a little bit as expected of a toy grip so to speak but uh, I guess my biggest complaint about it is that it really only works with the chaos and that the nemesis wasn't designed to work with it and the Zeus can't work with it and it's not good for any of the springers this is really the only blaster that it functions with right now now you could of course just adapt it to any other nerf blaster I'm sure but this is is not ideal for for our purposes just as a generic grip it is really only for the chaos and then on the chaos it does an okay job that i think is better serviced by a lot of the custom parts that have been out for a while now